Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to use motion warping for animations so that your player can move towards the enemy for example. So let's get started right away. First of all we need to activate the motion warping plugin so that we can use it in our project. To do this we search for the plugin in the plugins folder and activate it. Then we need to restart the editor so that the changes are applied. Once your project has restarted, find the animation you want to use motion warping on and open it. Make sure root motion is enabled, otherwise motion warping will not work. Once this is done, create an animation montage of the animation by right-clicking on the animation and selecting Create Animation Montage. Name the animation so that you will remember what it is called later. In the animation montage, find the spot where you want your character to move. Right-click on Notifiers and search for Motion Warping. Select this and drag it as long as you want the character to move. Once you are satisfied, click on the Motion Warping Notifier and under Root Motion Modifier in the Details panel, you can give a name to the warp target. We will need this later in our player blueprint, so you should copy the name, as it must be the same in order to work. Now, search for your player blueprint, or the character that should move and open the blueprint. Enter the key that should be used to play the animation, in my case, this is the F key. Next, we create a target blueprint that we use to move the player. You can also use an enemy blueprint for this to create a targeting function. This is important so that the motion warping system knows where to move with the animation. Now we search for all actors that are target blueprints in this world and take the first one as a copy. Here you can add a function in which the system is still at the distance closest to the player, but for simplicity's sake, We'll do that in another video. Then we take the actor location from it so that the motion warping system knows where to move. However, we still need this as an actor in the player, so we add it, similar to a blueprint component. From there, we call the node add or update warp target and enter the name of the warp that we gave in the animation and also the actor location of the target blueprint. This gives the system almost all the data it needs. Now we take the mesh as a reference and use the node play montage to play our animation. In the drop down menu, you can then select your animation montage and we are ready to test our function.
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate a like and subscription so that you don't miss any future content from my channel. If you encounter any errors in your project, I would be happy to assist you on my Discord server. The link is in the description. Until next time.